Found another horse clam right here. Man, this day couldn't get any better. Today, we are gonna take you on a journey to catch some of the most highly sought after clams here on the western side of Washington. This is how you do it. Oh my God. Oh. The plan is to catch a variety of clams. This is crazy. <laughs> and turn them from this to this. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Kane Remo here again. And today we are on the western side of Washington. Our main goal today, and I'm not sure it's gonna be successful, is we're gonna try to catch some uh, goby ducks. If not, we're gonna try to catch some uh, variety of different clams. That's the main goal is to catch a uh, goby duck. This is our first time doing this, so let's go. So this is where we're currently at. And today is actually the last day to clam this spot. So there's uh, some people here, not too much though. Uh, not as busy as the uh, razor clamming spots that we've been to. Sean doesn't have uh, his That's own it. raincoat. <laughs> <laughs> so just had to go grab uh, another set of batteries, but it looks like uh, Sean and Kay found our first uh, first goey duck. I don't know if it's goey duck or not. <laughs> it moves. Look. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> so I'm not even sure. It looks just like a. A uh, siphon of a goey duck, so we might go ahead and try it. Uh -huh. Try to see if we can touch it. Yeah. Oh, it, it is moving. Okay, that's oh, it. That's oh. it. That's it. Oh, it's going down. <laughs> all right, all right. Sorry, sorry. So we're gonna go ahead and try to dig this. I'm not sure, but uh, the siphon uh, just went. <laughs> I want to say about a foot down. So. We're gonna find out if we can still get this guy. Yeah. I think we gotta move fast. Pretty interesting. So uh, Kay's doing it manually now. It looks like we lost the siphon. It's over here, oh. Oh, there is a oh, siphon. This one, oh. Oh, there is. Oh. <laughs> All right, so Kay's back on doing it, doing it, doing it manually with her hand. Here, mom. Found it. So I'm using this right now. It's for let's a plan. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys can see, we're uh, definitely not pros on this one. Uh, this is our first time doing this. Can you see the siphon in there? Yeah, yeah. sure. See? I can't believe I <laughs> Oh look at that. I can't believe I hold the razor clam right now. Mommy, it's not Oh my god, it's my first time. <laughs> I got so excited I don't know what to say. It looks like it's stopped right there too. Look at that. Ah! Oh, oh. Is it oh it's a horse clam. Yeah, it's, it not horse clam. Yeah, it's not going up. It's not going down. It's a horse clam, but it's a big dog. Look. Ah. It's a horse clam, not going up, but it's still big. It's still a winner. Nice. First dig. I'm not sure if people were just looking at us all crazy, but that wasn't a goey duck, that was a horse clam. And look at this big hole right there. Was that your find? Yes. A high five too. My hands wet. So we just need to fill this hole in, and then we're moving on to the next spot. So we just found our next spot. Folks are down there and we saw a couple of quarters down there. So we're gonna go ahead and start digging and see if we can catch them. It's gonna be pretty challenging though because there's gonna be a lot of water in this area. This is how you do it. It's a good exercise. <laughs> So check that out. Another horse clam. Look how big this is. <laughs> so 
checking this one out, so another one. <laughs> the tides already came in, so look at how much water that is. So that's about, at least about four or five inches uh, deep right now. You definitely want to do this when the tide's going down, not when the tide's going up. Case trying to catch a razor, not a razor clam. I keep saying razor clam today, but a horse clam by hand digging. We've been doing hand digging all day, but <laughs> she's using a small shovel. We'll try. You still feel it? I think I'm bringing it to Randy. Oh no, I broke you. I'm having fun of blocking the tide. So, yeah, definitely uh, make use of the right tools. Uh, I don't know, for some reason. <laughs> Is it the butter clam or horse clam? No, it's a horse clam. Horse clam? The meat is still gonna be intact uh, yeah. because for the most part, the shell is pretty hard and I don't see a whole lot of um, meat just all over the place, but check this guy out. Look, look at how big this is. <laughs> There's a little crab in there. <laughs> in the bucket. He's very dedicated. <laughs> this better be horse clam. Wait. Can you feel? No. What the? Oh wow. <laughs> and that is a flop. <laughs> Look at that. So the tide's definitely uh, gone up. A lot of the people uh, left already, but we're still here. Fish. Come fish. So I just grab it under the the seaweeds. Look, nice. it's a. Uh, I found one too. They are knuckles. Cockles. Huh? Cockles. Oh, cockles. <laughs> Ding. If you find like something like um volcano in there, I mean like a mountain. It's probably. What is it? Knuckles or cockles? Cockles. <laughs> cockles. Ooh. It's so big. It's here. These shells are so beautiful. You can see the different colors in the bucket. We're looking for some butter clams and we're gonna go ahead and show you guys in a little bit what that looks like and how to catch them. I just had to go back to this one spot. I think I found a good spot for butter clams. All right, so just found her. First, butter clam right here. So this one's actually a little bit smaller, but man, there's just so much shellfish in this beach. Wow. Check this out, so <laughs> it's a big one right here. Man, look at that. <laughs> See? Ooh, look at that. That's a big one. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Got another one. Man. It's definitely been a great day. That's a big cockle right there. Look at that. <laughs> Cockles and horse clams. Look at how big this is. <laughs> After having so much fun at the beach, picking up some delicious clams, it's time to show you the easiest way to clean and cook these cockles. First, I'm going to clean the clams with a brush. I'm gonna use this knife to open these clams. For a safety reason, use the glove. While you're doing this, you're aiming for the scallops to open it easily. They're located in here and in here, both sides.
So today we're going to make some baked cockles. While preparing the clams, we're gonna go ahead and preheat the oven at 400 degrees. We're gonna continue cleaning these clams by removing the guts. Cut this clam like that and open it and remove the guts. There you go. Just make sure to check all the open parts to check if there's some sand in there. And don't forget to clean this. We are done cleaning our clams. And now, it's time to prepare our spices. For this recipe, we're just gonna need to use green onions, onions, and cheese. Before we put all our spices on the clams, we need to cut its neck so it can fit in the shell. I'm gonna put some of these cut clams inside over there and put over here too. And the spices. I'm gonna put these clams in the oven for 10 minutes. After 10 to 15 minutes, it's time to get the clam. Time to put some cheese on top. Go ahead and set your temperature up to 500 degrees and put the clams back in for another 10 minutes. The moment we've been waiting for Here's the clam. Time to taste it. I wish that you guys can smell this awesome bed of clams. You can also use lemon if you like. All right, so here's the finished product. Check this out. Just look at how good looking that is. You've got a little bit of a burnt uh, cheese on top, you've got the green onions. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Oh, and look at that. It came out so creamy. Mmm. Got the nice seaweed taste from the clams. A little bit of onions. I like this. Just look at that. Clam number two. And let's look at how creamy that is. Look at that. Going for the perfect bite. So that is the end of our catch and cook uh, clams yeah. <laughs> for today. Please click the thumbs up button to support the channel. Leave a comment below because we want to hear from you. And if you haven't yet subscribed, definitely hit the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.